Well, and you know, I feel bad because I haven't actually watched That's your good. podcast. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh. I just want to make sure we're really in the frame. Like, really in there evenly. Do we look even now? I think so. Okay. I like your little streaks of silver in your hair. Oh, God. I love it. Are you letting it go? Or are you just... No, I'm actually... I'm, I'm dying the front. Because it's so... And it's really it gray like in the just, back. It's not really gray. It's beautiful. It mm. looks like... I don't like it. It's like twinkle the lights. It's beautiful. Fairy. Old lady fairy lights. I don't, old fairy. I don't think so. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well... We're back. Missing someone. Look who's here. Hi, nice to see you all again. I'm Skin Cocaine. And I'm Katie Girl Nuts. And we're back. And we're back. I'm really excited. Nice now we have had lunch. We did have lunch, um, when did we, last week? I don't even remember yes. now. Because I, I was out of school, so finally out of school. So I've been teaching high school again, so that's You have exciting. to kind of let people know what's been going on in your life. You don't, not everything, but I mean, like, yeah, you're teaching school well, now. So you were homeschooling. I was homeschooling, and I, all my kids finished school, and then I was like, what am I going to do with myself? And it was really hard to decide. Like, so yeah. I tried to reinvent myself, and I was going to become a 911 dispatcher. Oh, now that sounds fun. Yes, it does. Except Katie Girl Nets can't pass the typing test. You have to, it's an ungodly amount of strokes per second you have to have. It's crazy. Stroke even, man, when I, stroke even when I was doing this stroke. on the keys, I couldn't pass. So you have to. They don't care about um, accuracy, it's speed. It doesn't have to be accurate? Nope. It just has to get most of the information in. They don't even check that. They just want to see how many keys you can hit as fast as you can. So even doing what you were doing just then was not enough? That was the thing that you couldn't get in? That was the thing. I could do all the map reading. I could do all of the, you know, listening. and Because it's this really intricate thing. you got to be able to multitask. I could do all of that. But the speed, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Huh. And so, that's what they told you? That was the reason you didn't get Oh, it? yeah. Because they will tell you immediately as soon as you're done. Like you, were, I think the closest I got, I was 10 keystrokes per minute away. And they hmm. couldn't just let me in. But anyway, it turned out to be a real blessing because I don't think I could have survived it. Because it, I would have been working like 12-hour shifts from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. In Roanoke City. And it would have been horrible. Yeah, that seems intense. Yeah, so then um, my one of my girlfriends, Misty, had told me about subbing for Roanoke County Schools. So I was signing up for a sub, and I was going in to get my badge. And I had to apply and everything. And as I was getting my picture taken for my badge for being a substitute teacher, they called me and offered me a job as a tutor for English language learners across Roanoke County. Hmm. And... I did and that for a that. year. Okay. And then after that, I repassed my Praxis exam for English language learning. And now I'm a full-time, fully accredited teacher at William Byrd High School and William Byrd Middle School. Go Terriers. That's awesome. Yes. It is great. I have a good time. And you're home what time every day? Oh. Do you get home like before five? Oh, the traffic coming out of William Byrd is just, oh. it's heinous. Uh, Mm, the worst kept secret is you really can't get out until four, because it's like one lane in and one lane out for two, is two large, too. two large schools. Because William Byrd High School and Middle School are on the same campus, and I don't know how same many with Blacksburg buses Middle there school are. And high school, so the roads are just quite terrible. Yes, so I don't get if I cheat, which I never do, that, and leave just a touch early. Like, cause I just like the kids just follow me up. I'm like, shh, 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 just need to. Oh. Because okay. if I have an appointment or something, um, I can get out before the buses. But. But you don't have little kids anymore, so it's not the same as when you want to be home when your kids get off the bus and no, stuff like that. You don't have that anymore. No, but I have a married daughter now. Yeah. And my oldest daughter's paralegal, and my son, he's 19. I think he's going to go to Liberty this fall. We'll see. 
We'll see. We'll see. Online or, or actually? I with... think he wants to actually go to college. Go to it. And okay. I think he needs to because he's not a natural student. So it's not his favorite thing. He'd much rather um, run a saw or, you know, be Could he do up. something like that? A trade or, you know, you... He, yeah, but what he really wants to do is shoot his ass off the back of an aircraft carrier. Okay. And so, so then why doesn't he just enroll he in a... Because he has to have a college, four-year college degree. You, you've he, imposed that. He's imposed that on himself. The military has imposed The military... You have to have a four-year bachelor's degree in order to fly a jet. Oh, Okay. So like they I'm talking, can't, the, I'm talking about the F-16 Hornets or the Raptors or all those things. i got to know what you're I'm going to be knitting. I'm just going to be knitting what you're talking about. i just got to know what you're knitting. Well, I'm knitting I'm, the I'm Corey and Poncho by, by um, the Meaningful Stitch. Amy of the Meaningful okay. Stitch. Okay. And, and this and is the Bowie. This is your, oh, this is your This, this is, is your the Bowie advent. advent. So, like, this is day one. I mean, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. What was day your inspiration seven. for this? Because I love it. Thank you. My inspiration. Well, for everybody's doing it. Every, I mean, there's a lot of people that have Advents that that's what they're doing. Is their oh inspiration for the Bowie Advent? Yeah, for the colors. What was the inspiration? Obviously, Dave album Bowie, covers. But album covers. Okay. A lot of album covers, and then well, like the the pink was his wife. You know, a mom, and you know, different things like that. But um, I'm. I will discuss this. Are we going right into knitting now? No. Okay. We can. We can. Because I mean, how we are. We go. Beep, beep, yeah. Beep, beep, I just. Beep, there's beep, more beep, to beep. this. I want to sort of go more into what I have it. I've stopped because I'm sort of at a standstill with this. So I don't know if you want me to keep talking about it or you finish with your son. Or I'm not. done with my son. Your son with your son. He's no, not that you, interesting. Okay. I'll just throw them under the bus. Goodbye. We'll interject with different life things. How about that? <laughs> Sounds good. Let me get my okay. knitting. You get your knitting. I don't know where my Okay, so is. then, so I, if you watched my last podcast, you know that I talked about that I wanted to do all of the colors. There we go. You know, you, you're you increasing like four stitches. Well, I don't know how many. Let's see. If there's four stitch markers and you're, and you're increasing on either side of each stitch marker, that's four times two, eight stitches. So you're increasing eight stitches every other row in four different places. It's a poncho. Okay. And what that does is, obviously the stripes are getting narrower and narrower, right? And so I, also the Bowie Advent, and I'm going to also insert different B-roll videos of us actually putting the Bowie Advent together. Yep. So my friend Sarah, who did all the design of the Advent, um, she did all of the packaging, everything. And then she's she's the girl in the Rhinebeck video that's my best friend that's wearing the pink sweater that I knit for her. You didn't watch that. Katie's not watching my podcast. I'm, Thanks a lot. I'm terrible. Kidding. I'm I don't kidding. I don't care. Podcasts. I really. I know I, you don't. But I, I really don't, don't. But I don't watch podcasts. Not even the ones I'm in. Well, that's weird, but okay, I, I whatever. Know, but we already knew that. Well, some people, they're movie stars that can't watch their movies at all. So, I mean, I guess I understand that. But anyway, <laughs> getting back to this. So, what I'm realizing is as I go through each day, the stripes are getting narrower and narrower. Well, like by a lot. So, at some point, I'm not even halfway through this poncho yet that I won't even get halfway through a row before I run out of yarn at some point. Uh -huh. Right. So I knew that's not going to work. And also the advent, if you got the advent, it's grouped together in sort of, sort of groupings of colors. So like this is one grouping. The next grouping is kind of like orange and green. And so it doesn't, it, it's like an abrupt stop, you know? And so, so not only do I have striping issues, I have sort of color issues because I don't really want this to look like a scrappy project. I kind of want some flow to you it. You want some composition. So what I thought I would do is I found, so this is my advent, which is fingering, but it's, I'm holding it double and I'm using size six needles for it. I did four for the ribbing of the t on the neck, on the top. So here's, so then I thought, okay, 
then I'll just start, I just ripped it off the needles, but oh. I'll just start doing a sort of a solid on the bottom. I'll stop now and I'll just use part of my Bowie Advent for this and I'll use the other colors and something else that work together. I, I didn't put it on right, but so I decided on this old stash yarn I have, believe it or not, it's like Plymouth. I got it at Wool Workshop, it's just Plymouth something. I don't even know if it's DK. It might be worsted. I don't know. But I'm putting it as the bottom of this poncho. So the rest of the poncho is going to be this, which I don't know whether I like either. I might just want a solid black. I don't know. Because this is going to start getting much like the gray is going to start getting closer to closer together until it's just like almost all gray. So I don't so I'm at a standstill. You have any suggestions or thoughts on this? How I could have used my Advent, or I could have I thought about single stranding it and then knitting it with a cream color. So I started that. It looked terrible. Well, do you have any leftovers of any of these colors? I'm sure you don't, because mm -hmm. you you only you sell. I used them all. Right? Oh, you mean extra you sell, skeins? Yeah, extra skeins. I do have a or bits extra and bobs. I do. Because I would be tempted, like even if I had bought your advent, I probably would be on the phone going, Gina, you know, I loved it so much, but I need more yarn. Can you just like dye You're more? whispering so they can't oh, hear um, I need more thing. yarn. <laughs> Can you just um, dice more of these colors and I'll buy a ball of each? Or so you're saying ball? finish the whole thing, like go back and start with this color again and go again? So, so you had 24 colors, correct? Well, I have 25 because I'm okay. a full size skein. Okay, okay. so, so one, two, right three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've used nine I've colors. I've used nine colors. That's so right. I would be tempted. Like if I were, if I had bought this, I'd probably call you up and say, I don't care how much it costs. Cause it's so Oh, beautiful. I like it when they say that. No, it's just so beautiful. Look at it. Yeah, it looks good. It, it is, it is attractive. It looks good. No, I like gorgeous. it. No, like, I this, love it, but I don't think I would like it if I continued on with the Bowie colors. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? They're I just don't really, it will turn it into a scrappy project. But what it, are, is it because the, the stitches, like the rows will get shorter? Like um, you would, I, I, here's because the way I see it is if you have how many rows colors. of this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, see seven, how eight, it's nine, ten. Here's another one, like the next one after the row. Oh, I absolutely would. Pink and orange go together, girl. They go together. That's not orange. Well, I know oh, you don't, but you said there's blue. orange. You had orange over there. So. Yeah, I can't find any more. But um, but I would, I would like get a whole nother one of these if I could, and then I would make sure I had eleven rows of each color and had enough so I could go through the whole thing, and maybe augment with that a little bit here and there. Just if you, if that's still not quite enough. How long is it going to be? It's not super long. It's like is it cropped? No, it's not cropped, but it kind of, it's, it's sort of at your elbow. Okay. That's kind of. So it's, yeah, I gotcha. Well. I don't know. And I also like this black and gray yarn. I want to make a hat out of it because I know I would wear a hat out yeah, of it. Yeah, you're going to wear that. And I That's don't know if I want to use it all up on but that But the thing is, is, this is so you. I don't know. I would, I. Let me try it on. I would want to finish the Bowie colors because. And just make it the Bowie. Yes. Yes, and because it's so beautiful. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I mean, I do like it. Even when you get into the orange, hold on, can I go grab an orange? I saw it over there. Is there an orange over there? Isn't there? Oh, no, there's something. There. I don't know. But this don't... is it, right? No, that's not. No, I don't okay, really well, have it in here. I don't. That's okay. Well, I like orange and pink together. I am weird. And there's okay. yellow and. You but, know, that's, like, but that's David Bowie. I know. And David Bowie he was, was like the, one man. of the predecessor of punk. Like, kind of that. He was punk, right? What would you say? Is, I know he was rock and roll, but he was definitely... He had I, a name. What he was, was I don't know if it was punk or not. I don't know if it was punk I don't know rock. what the best I feel like an old lady is. saying punk rock right now. I don't know. Well, we are old ladies. We are. <laughs> We are grannies. I'd like to be a granny right no, now. I got Sorry, no, ben. no, 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 no grandbabies. Not yet. Take See, your time. Marcella had a baby. I just take the baby for myself. I know. Like, right? I want the baby myself. Give just it to me right now. Baby. Yeah, I want the baby. 
Yeah, you get and you guys stay asleep. I'll wake up and change diapers and bottle feed. I could do that all again. I could have another baby right now myself. There are kids that need adopting out there. Yeah. No, I want the whole, you know, vagina blowout and <laughs> sore nipples. So I want the whole thing. I want the whole experience. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I don't that want was, that. Oh. Anyway, let, so I, I don't know if you've seen the Bowie, us putting the Bowie stuff together. I may have already shown it to you or not. But I was going to show you. This is the 25th day. It came in a box. Um, and it had Bowie quotes on it. And I don't have any idea whether this is blurry or focused or I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, it came in there. And it's basically like an assigned pooling scheme where, you know, plan pooling scheme. Ooh, you know what that is? That's scored. Yes, I do. Uh, where you, um, every, you know, you knit the black. And then when you get to the colors, you do a little flower. And then it stops right before, when you're done with the flower. It goes back to black again. And that's, or it micro stripes. So if you do mm. socks, it micro stripes. So that is the 25th day. I'd love for you so to So did see you it. sell in whole skeins? I thought you were just doing like little mini sets. Or did you do like a whole subscription of 25 days, get a skein every you, day? It was 25 skeins. It was tw 25 skeins. Full skeins. No, it okay. was mini skeins until the 25th day. See, oh. that's. Does it say 25 on here? No, it doesn't say 25 on the box. But this was the 25th day. So it came... Um, I might just have to go drop in my basket. Yeah, that one... You're like, no, someone actually bought an extra one. one. But not this one. This Because that is just... This box is... But yeah, you are getting one you know, of these before you leave. Oh, thank you, love. You're welcome. You know... Um, I'll pile you up with yarn before you go. Well, you know, I had an idea for, I was, I took a nap yesterday because you know what teachers do when they're off school is we sleep, we eat junk food, and we watch, binge watch TV. That's what we do. So I was waking up yesterday from my nap and I was looking out my window sideways and it all occurred to me. So it's really nice to have creativity coming back. Like that was my first burst of creativity I've had in about four years. It just popped out of nowhere. I couldn't believe it. Um, so I had like this, when I say vision, I don't mean vision, but I just had this picture of this sweater I want to design. I was like, there it is. It just popped up in front of my eyes. So I was laying sideways, you know, looking out the window. And I had this vision of a light on top, dark on the bottom with winter trees coming up through it. And I was like, it's going to happen. Oh, it is? You don't have it? It's not happened yet? Well, it was yesterday. Oh, okay. It was, it was yesterday. With trees coming up. Okay, that sounds yeah, beautiful. But, and then I was even thinking maybe how I could figure out the color some little roots in there. Yeah, it'll be color work. Maybe some roots because I'm definitely into, right now, like um, root, rooting, being grounded, being strong. So life, what gives life. And so it was nice. And she told me yesterday, or when we talked last, I didn't have to talk about it, but I went through my fifth major depression recently, which is one of the reasons you guys haven't seen me or heard from me. And, um, yeah, it's been bad. But. But. She's here. But I feel she so much it. better. You're no, on the other side of I it I really, now. like, seriously, it's, well, am I on the other side? I think so. Almost. But, well, I don't know if I can ever, because it was my fifth one. So mm -hmm. I can't ever say that I'm like, oh, I'm healed. No. Mm -hmm. But um, the fact that I had a burst of creativity really encouraged me. And um, I was watching this documentary this morning on, it's called The Blue Zone. It's on Netflix. Right oh, now. yeah. I've seen it. And I was interested, again. I don't in, think Roanoke is the Blue Zone. No, it's not. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> like this tiny little village in Okinawa. Oh, like there's a place in California too. Yeah, though. there's one little place in California, and then the other one I've seen was um, it was an Italian it was, coastal it was, town. Yeah, on an island. Yeah, and I was like, oh my goodness, but I was interested in health and being healthy again. Yes, which when you have depression, yeah, some it's of you not interested. You're not interested at all. No, like you don't care if you live or die. No, yep, you don't. You don't want to knit, right. much less. So you not haven't been something. knitting at all? I mean, you've been knitting some, because I've never seen this before. Yes. I have been knitting. This This took me three years to knit, because I started it, crashed, and then I had to come this back. This is really, really This beautiful. is that you've got Ixtel to get close. or whatever. Ixtel from um, Pom Pom. Remember that 
Twitter. Can you get your sleeve close to that so you can actually see that beautiful color work? Yeah. I it, might have to little, do like a video. Yeah, I'll of change you. it. I'll take it off and not right now, but I'll show you later and you can do like your pan close of it. Yeah, yeah. This was the uh, holy grail so of knitting. Amazing. But I had to actually set this down for two years because I couldn't finish it. It's so interesting because it's an unexpected color choice. You've got this really variegated. Yeah. And then you've got the color work that that actually is very variegated as well. Different shades well, of orange and pink. I and, think Annette thought I was crazy. Yeah, it's not Annette, but it's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, like, look, like I these know. are similar colors. There's something well, similar. Well, I remember when buying it, and I remember um, the pink is called. Uh, Venus, not rising, or it was Mars rising. It was a Madeline Tosh colorway, and I forgot the name of this colorway. You sold it to me. About was it Madeline ago. Tosh? It's Madeline Tosh. Okay, I know. I think I special ordered it for you. Probably. Yeah, I remember. So, what is now? This, what is, this? is the flax sweater, and I'm yeah, getting okay, it for my son, who works at Carta Caterpillar right now. Um, he gets up at three in the morning to go to work, and he's cold. And for my son to say to me, um, Mom, I'll wear a sweater if you knit it for me. Uh, that's all you need to hear. So, but he he needed the easiest care possible. So he's getting Plymouth Yarn Encore Tweed. Yeah. Which is Definitely a great not. workhorse yarn. Yes, it's, it is. I think Plymouth, this is the first, second time we've mentioned Plymouth today. Yeah. I, when I had my yarn store, Plymouth was a great... You sold a. I sold we a lot. Sold of a that. lot of Plymouth. It's yeah. great for blankets. It's great it's for sweaters. It's almost like a step above Cascade, just a little bit. But it does you think have. So? A, well, I think it it has well, some it has nicer yarns in it. It does. It and does. It's only like twelve percent wool, so I'm a little concerned it's not going to be warm enough when he, you know, his beard is freezing to his face at four in the morning when he's on a forklift. But well, acrylic's not breathable so that could make it more, really yeah okay i feel that like you feel might better. be okay with that and what's really funny is um he had the weirdest measurements he's the skinniest little bugger you've ever seen he's like six foot he has a 32 inch chest he's six two oh my gosh yeah it happens. he has 19 inch long arms wow and then his from here to here from like his armpit to his waist is 19 inches wow and i'm like so, okay, so this is flax. This is not flax light. This no, it's is just flax. Plain flax. Do you know what size you're doing? Small. But, I, but I'm doing. Um, small men's? Just yeah. small. Just small women's? It's small women's, I think. Okay. But we will not tell him this. So sometimes no, obviously not, not. Because it really hurts his feelings when people say he's small. Well, he's not small. Well, his dad, you know, his dad's got dad bod. So that's his future. It's just he doesn't have it right now, which is fine. Yeah. And I don't love chow goo needles. Oh, I, I love still them. like They're the my You like them better than the licka needle, licky licka, whatever you call them needles. But licka is just birch. Yeah, but I like those. I like bir I like them too. I like them more but than I, I like my. What are those ones that you signatures? Yes. Now, did I ever tell you? I might not have told you this, but I heard that signatures was going out of business, and so I made a call out on. You didn't know this? No. Yeah, they went out of business. They're gone. So I made a call out on Instagram that I wanted to buy some people's um, signature needles. That I wanted every size. I had about three or four. I know you had a complete set that someone sold you really cheap. Yeah. Or gave them did. to you. I can't even no, remember. No, they sold them to me really cheap. I still can't figure out why they did it. I think because it's they didn't said, like them probably. And well, they I think they hurt her hands. She was older and I think they hurt her hands because they were um, metal. Well... So what happened? So what happened was I had a lot of people that were calling me and they were offering to sell me their needles, you know, for $40 a piece, like what they paid for them. Right. So I was like, you know, I mean, yeah, I want a complete set. If I'm never going to be able to get these needles again, I want a complete set. So I, you know, I put the call out. I got lots of messages from people, but then I got the one message that you want to get and that is I don't like them I have a complete set you can have them I don't want them Yay. so I got Yay. someone sent me their entire set with some duplications did they have so shorts I think I got, all the shorts 
No, none of the singles. They were all the convertibles. Uh, so are they the, not for sale in, anymore no, at all? No, they're not for sale anymore at, at all. But I got, now I have them all and I do like them. What I don't like are the cords. I know. The I'm, cords are not great. What I was hoping you were going to say was that you were going to buy the company. I was going to buy like, the company. I was like, what? yeah, that yeah, we would make do. We would like the cords if we owned the company, but um, no. no, we would fix the cords. Right, we would fix. The we cords. would fix them, but remember what? they were what? fixed, and what? then they became unscrewable. And you were telling people yeah. put super glue, but don't tell anyone you did it. Yeah. And I just told people that. Well, we but it doesn't it. matter. It doesn't anymore. matter now. They're out of business. No, but, but somebody's got to be able to. That's like a. I think it's a company though that they own a different type of company. Like they're a metal company. But surely somebody wants to buy that manufacturing piece. Don't call me Shirley. <sighs> anyway, I don't know. I if anyone knows more about that company or could we have it. Yeah, a nominal fee. We'll yes. take it over. We'll oh, take it know. off your hands. Oh, I, I'm just thinking. Like, what if you just bought the patent and the, you know? I have always really fantasized about have, have, having my own needle company. I know you have, but really, I don't want another that's just like all the others. You know, the same Indian factory, the same everything. I don't know. I where were they made? You know what? Who really actually makes my favorite needles? Once I realized that Magic Eraser cleans them. <laughs> Who? Addies. It, there is nothing better on this God's green earth than a fresh pair of Addy needles fresh out of the package. Why? They're just perfection. The, the join is perfection. The, the stiletto tip, it's not stiletto, but like not the original Addies with the really blunt tip, but the, you know, the... The rockets or you whatever. Mean the one that'll the your skin and now, like not send that, you to the There's another ER. company that's too sharp. Hiya Hiya Sharps. Those are too sharp. And I think the stiletto signatures are really sharp too. I don't believe that the um, that the Addy rockets are too sharp. That they would actually poke a hole in your finger. Those are my favorite needles. And then Chiago Reds are second. I disagree. But so your okay. number one is Licka? My are the Licka wood ones, but I don't have them here. But metal ones, what are your favorites? It would be Chalky. Okay. Even um, above the signatures. Yeah. Which I, agree. I never thought I would say. But I do love my signatures, so nobody better be poaching me on my signatures. But I am How very disappointed. We... If somebody wants to sell me their set of um, shorts, the little The singles, little beautiful little, little ones. Little shorts. I could be. I could Somebody be look Katie up. Well, we'll put her address under the city. You can just send be, her. I could be send tempted. her some needles. I could be tempted. So depart with some cash. Yeah, or someone that doesn't want them anymore and wants to do a good deed. I got it. Oh, yeah, I see a red light. Oh, that says there it's fine. Okay. Anyway, what were you going to say? <laughs> do you remember what you were in the middle of saying? No, probably not. I think I was. No, yeah. I, I like to, if people put a lot of, those were an investment, you know? The, the needles? needles? Yeah. Yes. And it's all Becky Bowling's fault. So Becky Bowling, yeah. if you're watching, Becky. it's your fault that you are the one who got me on those signature needle shorts. Okay. Well, um, let's show some more stuff. Okay. So uh, let me show you this hat that someone sent me Oh, as a Christmas a gift. That's gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? You know, I'm really happy. I, I feel like sequins are coming back. Are they back? The little... The, yeah, the little discs. Yeah. Are they back? Are you going to wear it? I am going to wear it. You better wear it. That's beautiful. The same person oh, so knit me cute. a muscle burger, which is my absolute favorite hat of all time. And I wear it all the time. I don't know. Muscle burro, rather. It's a Yazolda T cat. Oh. You would really like okay. that pattern. I was going to say. And anyway, this is the hat. It's really cute, isn't it? It's very cute. And it's really pretty. So, you know you who have you any are. Idea what Thank it you. Is. The, unfortunately, I do not have any idea what it is. But it does have little disc. It looks like self-patterning, too. She's a holding it. It's like black it surrey or mohair with, yeah, with some sort of green. Self-patterning yarn. Do you it think like. it's black? Yeah. It's, you, well, it's gray see. and black. Oh, look, it's like I striping. Think it's, I think it's self-patterning, yeah. 
Can I love you guys it. See that? I just don't know. If you yeah, I think I see. It. I'm looking at the picture. It's beautiful. All right. They can actually see it better than we can. Okay, and I also wanted to show you. I had a lot of people oh, ask me about goodness. this hat. I'm gonna put the link to the pattern underneath. Did you knit this? Oh, this is this burned Did out? you run out of? Batteries? I did knit this, and yeah, I did. That's I did. you That's are so bad. funny. Cause this is so not you. No, I knit it for Marcella's marching band. Like they wear crazy hats for marching band. What and instrument for band. does she play? She's trombone. Trombone. So I knit this Christmas tree hat and stuck stuff on it. That's that's an act of love right there. It that didn't right take there. any time at all. It's super cute. It is cute, and I just I like stuck it. this little thing on the top. It's not even. It, I did a terrible job, but who cares? I mean, it, it is. Well, first of all, it is not a terrible job. It's well, gorgeous. it's fine. It's fine. And I'm assuming it's just like a what kind of yarn? It's uh, you know, the Lion Brand. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like just uh -huh. something woolies no, yeah, or something really nice. Yeah, and it's not that nice. Cozy and chunky and knits fast. Yeah, but um, the pattern is free, so it's Even a fun thing to knit because I know better. a lot of people have, you know, kids. That... And I'm eyeballing. Okay, you have to show me now. I've been watching because I've been on Instagram a little bit. All right, the socks. Yes, the socks. These I are the cozy knitter advent socks for 2023. And, and so is it? It looks like it. It's a self striping, hand dyed. Hand dyed. Amazing. And I started with a cream color of my own, which ended up being a lot thinner than the actual sock. Those are gorgeous. Yarns. But, and I'm doing a magic heel. Are you familiar with uh -huh. the magic heel? That way, because I didn't know, first of all, I obviously didn't want an interruption of the stripe pattern, but I also, um, I love it. Didn't know who they're for. Like whether Marcella would these take them or... I mean, these aren't your signatures. These yeah, are, those are signatures. Yes, they are. Look at that. Yeah, so I'm doing Magic tiny, Loop. Tiny, tiny, And I did a two-by-two two ribbing on the top part. And then I went, you know, straight into the... Because I've been eyeballing that with lust in my eyes. I was like, oh my gosh, look at that gorgeous stuff. Yeah, it's pretty. It's very pretty. I mean, would I do it again? No. Why not? Mm. Because I don't, I don't know. I just have so many skeins of self-striping yarn. I just. I have zero. But that's okay. Well, that's sad. No, it's not. You need to do something about that. I don't like to knit socks. Oh. I keep telling myself, you know, I got all these signature double points. Bought them from you. If you don't like socks, you should be knitting toast by Leslie Friend, which is a fingerless mitten. Okay. Um, it's just the perfect thing. It's just like a sock, but it's not a sock. You don't yeah, have... I would, I would do that. So, yeah. You don't think that it's nice to have... Not, I mean, what, I like wait, wearing you them. wear I like, socks? Yeah. You don't knit them. I, ha I can knit a sock. I just don't like doing it. Oh, um, yeah, okay. Which is weird. No, it's not weird. I totally get it. All right, what are you? What else you got? Well, I thought I'd bring in one of my really old. I bought this yarn from you when it, you were up at Mosaic in Blacksburg. Oh. So this is um. We'll see if she can guess the yarn. And then. Well, it's probably we'll old for alpaca. The, you got it. Oh my god! <laughs> we'll see I'm if she can, so we'll see if she good. can figure out what the sweater pattern is. Well, that I am. Was is it a Jared Flood or it's a Zimmerman? It's an Elizabeth, Elizabeth Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Yep. She was, um, in case you're not from, oh, I got a bad pick. And I've knit this thing like 15 years ago. It is older than dirt. So there's a steak in it. and Actually, there's about five steaks in it. Um, she gives you. I have to see this. Yeah, show her the, the fish, show them the fish trap itself, which is that Do diamond. This. Yeah. She gives you the fish trap, which is the diamond. And then she expects you to be able to build the sweater around that. She what? Me, yep. So Elizabeth Zimmerman, she's dead. She's been dead a long time. Yeah. But she was probably the person who taught me the most to knit, even though I never met her. And I had to look at her stuff by reading because it just wasn't, you know, she just was before computers. She used to send out emails, not emails, excuse me, newsletters. And that's actually where the pattern came from. Was, was and they were handwritten, right? They were handwritten. 
And so she would run them off on a Xerox machine, put them in a letter if you signed up for her newsletter, and she'd mail them off. And so that's her sweaters. And it was, it was, it was a beast. It's beautiful. It's still my favorite sweater. It is such a gorgeous color, too. You know, I miss this yarn. No Why? one sells this yarn. Well, everybody anymore. sells it. Um, you can find Baroque Ultra Alpaca. Well, Robin at Knit and Coop doesn't sell it. I wish she would. What about um, Skein Scoop? Where's she at? They're in um, Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. Um, well, I'll look there. I bought some like Baroque from them. And I say, but here's the steaks. This is the stuff that freaks people out. Is that I didn't do a good job with the steaks. I sewed them down, and they're really messy and ugly. I don't know if you can see all the fuzz in the middle there. Yeah, but it just kind of felt a little bit, and yeah. But it was it's really freeing to learn how to cut your knitting. Yeah, there's a pattern right now. I think it's called Voyager, and it's by Wool and Pine, and it's this really elaborate color work sweater cardigan and everyone is loving it and I thought oh I'll do the Bowie advent in that but then I saw that it was a steaked cardigan and there's no you way. You haven't done a steak yet. You've knit as long as I have girl and you haven't done a steak. Okay I want to know how many people out there have done a steak or have not done a steak. That's what I want to know. And what are you afraid of? Like the worst thing that happen. It's not that I'm, I'm not afraid at all. Okay. I just don't want to use superwash wool because superwash doesn't blend, it doesn't like co together. It, I mean, color work in superwash is pretty, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't it meld doesn't, together. No, right. It's like that. It's like when you make Italian tomato sauce, and you when you first make it, it doesn't taste as good as it does the next day. I don't right. know if you, or soups yes. or all those things because the flavors really haven't come together yet and that's kind of what superwash never lets it come together so so what do you see so what you're saying is, is you're worried that the steak would come undone i it just because I, I just feel like it would i think just... i stabilized the steak with a crochet now i i can't tell what i'll I bet you did though because i don't think because i stabilized wool, is I, it? probably not i, I stabilized the steak somehow I either did a sewing machine, like ran it up, or I. Um, yeah, I'm not afraid no, of doing that. No, there it is. It. There's, yeah, there it is. Hot pink. There's the sewing machine, and then before I cut, I so I did a running seam on this edge and this edge, and then snipped up. And the cut middle, right up the middle, up, and then picked up and stitches. and then pick up stitches and yep. do a ribbing. It's really a great. Mm -hmm. um, Makes but, things go a lot faster. But the Voyager sweater is now coming out in a in a pullover it's not released yet but it is coming out a pullover and i may do that so that there's no steaking do you I'm, test I'm not, it much hmm? do you test knit much i don't have never ever ever test knit anything okay and that reason i well i take that back i have test knit for a certain like uh jake at ken yarn i think he asked me to test something i said yes never did it um a couple other people, they asked me, I said yes, never did it. And then we have... So now we're not going to be doing any test knits. Okay, what, what is this? This is Peace Fleece, and I hate it. But this is my husband's sweater. And oh, again... I love the way it feels. It's just so sheepy. It is sheepy. Well, so... But I feel like that's, you know, nice. Like... I get it though. It's well, not it's, the same. It's, as it rips rough. the skin off my hands, and it has a lot of um, vegetable matter in it. But um, this one is for my husband, and he always complains that sweaters that are like he doesn't know this, but what he complains about are the top down all in one piece don't fit well for him. Okay, so you have to do it in pieces. Yes. So I got the new church mouse yarn and tees pattern saddle shoulder. So it's in pieces. So I told him, I said, you better wear this because. If you don't, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you because I don't think you understand. It's not like I can rip it out because once it's sewn together, it's done. You got this from Robin, right? No. Where did you get this from? I don't know. I went stash diving and I found something that I didn't even know I had in my stash. It smells like a sheep, doesn't it? You like it? I do. Oh yeah, that that there it is. That's very sheepy. Woo! I mean, that's sheep. That's. 
But what he'll do is he'll go out and that's he'll- That's mutton. Yeah, it is, baby. That's, that's that right there. It's gonna wear like iron. But he'll go out and split wood in it and oh, wear God, it forever. Oh, God, it's perfect. Dave would love a sweater like that, and he's not gonna get one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. If Why you not? get down to 100 pounds, I'll knit you a sweater. If you get down to Marcella's size, I'll knit you a sweater. And he's almost 200 pounds. Yeah, but... What are you doing checking your phone, girl? I, was, I got a text. I just want to make sure. Nothing, okay. No emergencies. You okay. keep showing you? Or yes, you yes, okay. yes. Because I showed my stuff and I really haven't advanced that much. We All need right. to catch so up with you. All right, so this is I've had to take a hiatus. Yeah, I got strings everywhere. What? This pattern? This is Caitlin Hunter um, Festive Doodle, I think. Festive Doodle? Yeah, and so I decided to go really festive with all my scraps, and it's festive. I'm pretty sure it's hideous, but I don't care. It I'm is absolutely it. not hideous. Well, it has odd color choices. Yeah, I, was, I like that. I like it too. Um, it's not turning out any way the way I expected it to, and I like it. It's fabulous. So I'm literally knitting that out of leftovers. I love it. So this, I'm pretty sure the sleeves are going to be wonky because I'm not going to. I'm going to try to make them go both sides all the way down, but I don't know if I'll be able to do Yeah, that. it's pretty stretchy. That's going to stretch out really nice. Yeah. Um, it just has a bunch of different scraps in it, huh? I had, um, well, some of my scraps. Color. Well, that's this area here. I, I knew you would like that. I thought of you while I was doing it. This is my favorite area right here. I love that. I knew you would it's like It's kind that. of blown out because of the ring light, but if you saw it in person. Well, it's a Tiffany with a hot pink. And believe it or not, that, that pink is that. Is the, that is this. Yeah, I can tell. So you had scraps of that mm -hmm. and put it in there. Yep. And then if you like that, oh, you and I bought this. This is Karen Jarn from Do You Knit. Okay. We bought that at Vogue Knitting Live. Who's the dyer here? Do you know? It's, it's, do, a it's do You Knit. Well, it's it was her house her yarn, own her house yarn? yarn at the time. I forgot who she is. Fashion She's really sweet. School yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's okay. her. The one you did the lavender yes, you yes. or whatever it is. Okay. So yeah, this yeah. is like my. She's on her own now, doing her own stuff. But this is just. I love this thing. I I was stopped by a principal at um, Northside High School last year, and they're like, "How much did that cost?" And I'm like, "Well." <laughs> Uh, oh, the end, the bottom of it is so cool. Yeah, and it's a um, it's a cocoa knits pattern, so it's a weird, weird pattern. Like you start here, you start with this right here. You start with these. Start here. Yeah, you start with those, and then you do the bottom, and you do short rows, and then it all comes together in one piece. It's it's very interesting. It's my second one I've knit. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful pattern. Yeah, try it on. I'm just curious, like, how and long it's big. it is. It's going to look terrible on me. No, it's not too big. All right, okay. Oh, stop it. Stop it. I don't like I it. I wasn't saying <laughs> I was looked awful. I was saying that this would look awful on me. No, it's not. There's no, a I knew, difference. No, I knew. Because of I what, what I'm wearing. I oh, oh, I got to hold Because what I'm wearing that. is not the right thing. It's not going to look good. Let's look at it looks terrible on just what the shirt. heck? Okay. But it's nice and drapey and long. Oh, well, it looks like to wear with leggings, yeah, right? Baby. I wear that to school. And so I told the lady that the yarn itself was say five hundred and twenty five dollars and it took me about two or three months to knit. She's like, Well how much would it cost? I'm like, More than you're willing to pay. What she wanted you to make one for yeah, her? Like, I'm not Forget doing they that. have no idea. No one outside the knitting world knows exactly how much we're paying for these skeins. And hours and hours and hours and, and hours. That's fingering weight yarn. Right. But you know, fingering weight yarn for sweaters is the best sweater. It does. It is. I it agree. It makes the most seasonless, lightweight it's so and to me, I like superwash wool for these kinds of sweaters because they grow mm -hmm. and they're and I can reshape, I can wash them and reshape them and block them differently if I want the sleeves. There's just a lot of wiggle room with the not with the superwash and I like it. So I'm a superwash girl. Do you period. remember have I shown you this sweater? I don't think I have. Well, it's beautiful. So oh this was, my This is something I did. I don't think I should. I don't think I was. I, had I do done not this. recognize that. Okay, all right. I think you would. So this, I took a fade idea and I kind of just made a generic. 
cardigan. I don't think I had a pattern. I think I just did it. I don't know how to show this. I'm going to have to do a B-roll of you modeling some of these sweaters. That sweater is so hot. <laughs> it's really, really thick. It is so hot. I can't wear that at school. Can you, I mean, like, do you it wear just, it? Uh, I can't hardly wear it. I think I'm going to give it to one of my daughters. I was going to say, it's really heavy. It's, it's hot. And when you're teaching in school and you have all those sweaty bodies, juveniles, just, it's insane. Well, and like even the sweater I have on now, which is like a, it's a fingering weight yarn. Still really hot. Well, you just get hot. And you know, I ain't no spring chicken. Yeah, it's big. I think it was, I think it was too, because I faded it. And I love the pocket. Yeah, I know. They're not deep enough. They're never deep enough. I think they're going to be deep enough, and then they're not. It's always disappointing. I'm the same way about sweaters. I think they're going to be long enough when I'm done knitting them, and they never are. But I want you to see this pocket, because this pocket's really cute. So if I can get this pocket over to you, you can see. You shouldn't put the mohair in it, or the surrey, but look how cute. I know. I like that. Oh, it's very cute. And I like bought every skein of um, hedgehog hedgehog in the world with this color. What was that color that Mr. West? I don't know if you. What was that color? It was like grays with different kind of greens and pinks. It was. What was the name of that colorway for hedgehog that he mixed with everything? Uh, I have no idea. What That's you're okay. Talking about. Well, you. It's, I have it right here in my hand, but. Um, it was a special custom color for Steven. I, I don't know if it was for him or not, but every time you got a new shipment of it, I like bought all of it because it was always different and unique. So this is this gray with the green in it. Anyway. I don't know what that is. I'm just getting old. I can't remember things anymore. Well. Oh, and then the last time I saw it. It's going to get worse. You had given me your... What was that special? The special? Yeah. So I did oh, the. Oh my gosh. I did the. Um, oh, that's so pretty. You did the. Um, what is this? Wool and pine. Yes. Um, sea, uh, sea glass. And I made magic cakes because you're the person who invented those, I do believe. I am. And? I am the first. I thought you were. I don't right. know if I'm the first, actually. I think you are. Okay, thank you. And I just. I held a skein of your yarn with about three or four magic cakes and just went So it. it was more than just the yarn, my yarn. It was yeah. also a scrappy. Yes. I just did probably 10, 10 to 20 ounces. Is that right? What did we, mm. how many ounces did we do per magic cake? Was it 10 ounces? Uh, I did. For changing colors? I have no It was either 10 or 20. of this. No memory. So I just changed it. That is, this is the most beautiful sweater I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. But I'm it, sorry. But it um, makes your special just really pop because, because it's contrasted with so many different colors. It just, it just makes the most of that oh yarn. Do you still make your special? Sometimes. Sometimes. Not very often. What's your best selling color right now? I don't have, I mean, right now is the Christmas cast on. Okay. Whatever I'm currently like promoting you have is it with like you? Is it yeah, it's those is it right, the, that pretty one right the one there. I gave it's you a lunch. Yes, Wedgwood. Yes, this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. I I just can't. I, I can't. That took a while. I am speechless. I'm not gonna lie. That was a long knit. That speechless. Was a long knit. Speechless. But there's something really nice about getting, you know, your left hand in one color and your right hand in the other oh, color. Oh, it's going, ching, fabulous. Ching, ching, it's ching, ching, really ching, ching, nice. Ching, 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 ching. It's really fun. Yeah, yeah it's mosaic like knitting, right? I guess. Slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, and then, like, reverse it the next time or something, yeah. right? It's, well, no, this was one by one. Like, one color, like, it was, you know, A, B, A, B, A, B. It wasn't, <sighs> there was no slipping. Oh, there wasn't. Okay. And I'm sure I made mistakes in it, but I don't care. Oh my god. There comes a point where you just talk. Just, <laughs> it was just like I almost so gave up on this thing. I, I told my therapist this was my um holy grail. This was my what is it? What is the term? Opus or yeah, something. Yeah, my magnum opus. Yeah. Yeah, and I when I do show you this, I want you to take a picture of the outside, but the inside is just as interesting because it has um some kind of scaffolded floats or something in it that's going oh, we're to looking at it right now yeah well that means uh, i have to strip no later <laughs> but they're looking at it right now 
the inside of that sweater. Yeah. So that's so cool. I just can't and then stand this it. This was. I mean, this was your this thing. This was a. I'm event. telling you, it was a. Is the owner Brooklyn Tweed the one at Brooklyn General in New York the one that designed that pattern? It's I don't know. That's a good question. But it's the lady in the pom pom. She's an African American lady. The oh, sweater no, it's is not. blue. It's not with and hers was you don't, blue with yellow. The model was African American. Yes, the model was not African, the designer. Just, yeah, sorry, I got it all wrong. But she was just stunning. Just I, stunning. I, I think that's who that who designed that. But she makes really beautiful patterns. I mean, but. it was. It was my magnum opus. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. The thing about you is that you just are fearless with color. Yes. Like colors you wouldn't think go together. And that's why you were always so great helping customers. Maybe. Because you could put stuff together that I could not put together. Well, I, I'm not sure this is the best color choice. But when I went into Wool Workshop, because you had bought me, you had gotten me this yarn and I bought it from you. And when I was ready to make that sweater, I, and the shop had changed hands at that point, this was the only highly contrasting color I could find in the shop. I wanted a yellow, but they didn't have it. I wanted a neon. Like a fluorescent cow, yellow. Yellow. This was the only hot color they had, like that was almost neon. And I remember Annette was like, you do you, Katie. And I could tell she didn't think it was going to look good. I was no, like, of course she, no. And that okay. is practical. She wants it to be just well, what you would expect. Well, and Annette, and, Annette is just, she is so technically solid. Yeah. It is a crime. She's not that, fluffy. No. Uh -uh. And if you want to learn something, she will teach you the right way. Now, what are you going to do? So we're talking about the store that I ultimately sold to someone else. Katie worked for me, she was the manager, and then, and that worked for me. When the new owners bought the place from me, Annette stayed on. Yes. You were already gone at that point. I kind of was in you and out had a got, little bit. A little bit. Yeah, that's right. You gone. were working there briefly. But then I was briefly. gone. Okay. Yeah, briefly. And then, but Annette stayed to the, the very end, yes. and they just closed this past Saturday. Like, yes. they, they're no longer in business. So, where do you think Annette is going to go? Do you think she's like permanently retired or do you think she'll be somewhere? Well, my hope is that she'll, um, because I don't want to see that talent. Resource. Yes. Resource not utilized. So maybe she'll work for, I don't know. I don't know if she needs anybody. I don't think she does. No, I don't think so. So, uh, uh, but you know, you never know. Cause there's now no yarn shop in Roanoke. Nope. There was yarn explosion, it closed, and then Wool Workshop is now closed. So we have a Knit and Coop in so Salem. So Knit and Coop in Salem, and then there's a Bedford one, mm -hmm. Stitch I've, Witch. I've never been there. That's a nice store. Is it? Cool. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. What, Blacksburg now has um, New River. It's not Fiber Arts. It's like a full service. Well, it's still service. New River Art and Fiber, but it, basically when the Mish Mish, which was the big art supply store, closed, the owner of Art and Fiber kind of took over the like the liaison between like the art and architecture students buying freshman packets and beginning of school packets from her. And she's really kind of like, I think she likes the yarn, but it's really an afterthought now. Oh. It's not really, it's kind of like in the back and it's not really, it's not, I mean, I've been in there where no one even says hello to me. But that could be because I'm me. I don't know. But also, it just is not... You can tell that the front of the store where the art supplies are is where her meat and potatoes are. Like, that's where her money is coming in from. So anything to do with the yarn, you can tell she's just kind of like, eh. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't think it's sad for her. It's just what, you know. Well, it's sad for us. Anyway. Oh, and I continue. Not sad for me. And then this one. I got plenty of yarn. I don't need any this more yarn. This is a yarn, Caitlin but... Hunter sweater. Oh, easy V. So you've been knitting all of the best sweaters the whole time that you've not been around. You still kept your pulse on the trending sweaters. Yeah. Th this so. one ended up being like a massive tunic. Like it comes down to my knees. I didn't mean for that to happen. But this it did. one looks like you've worn it, rode it hard and put it up wet. Yep. That's, that is a, that is a solid t-shirt sweater gorgeous can't so, wear it at school what's hot 
So what is this gr- gr- taupey color? What is that? I believe that is Malintosh. Perhaps. Not Uncommon Thread? Because I had a trunk show with Uncommon Thread with like a million different grays and taupes, and I just wonder if that's what this is. But because it's not quite as tonal as Madeline Tosh, but I could be wrong. It could be the Merino right DK. There. When I blocked it, look where the yarn bled. Oh. Eh, who cares? It's okay. Yeah. Can you see that green where it bled? Say, see it, but. And I. You don't know. No. It's been too long. It has. And I didn't do my end. Like Yarn Hero in here? Yep. You got it. It's not It's Not spin not cycle. Spin cycle. It's, it's Yarn, yarn Hero. Hero, who is really. That's she's a Virginia person, right? Yes, I still I still love that yarn. It's just her, just feels good. It makes me happy. I don't think it's as expensive as Spin Cycle either. Nope. That's gorgeous. You have any idea what size you had knit? Uh, probably large, and I didn't swatch okay. like a dum dum. I don't swatch. You know that? Yeah, I think I've shown you this one. But this one is, uh, this is one of my, this is my second sweater I ever designed. I've never published the pattern, and it's making its debut. So this is Yarn Hero as well. Oh, wow. Have I not shown you this? No. It's, it, I haven't this seen is the, you in like three years. This is the prototype. Did I see you after the pandemic? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. So this is a prototype of a sweater. I did a hybrid of some different patterns of things that I love about each. So the hood so the is hood a disaster. Is cool. No, it is? the hood is massive. Oh, it's like yeah, little it Red Riding Hood. Okay. You so know. it's more drama. Okay. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of like a Hannah Falkenberg sweater. I don't know if you're familiar with those. I am not. So it's kind of a cross between a wallaby. Yeah, Wallaby, okay, that, which is Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. And then I faded it. It has some different details on it that I wanted. Um, no, Cottage Creations did Wallaby, right? Oh, yes. Yes, that's right. Those yeah. little booklets. And then I also, I redid, I wanted something different up here. So there should be buttons there. So I don't know if I'll ever get that pattern written or not. Oh, it's a great classic. It's got the, the little thing where you stick your... Yeah, it's like a big wallaby, kind mm -hmm. of. But then it has this... It, it has a lot of issues. Neat kind it, of... It has Flax issues. panel here yep. with the garter stitch. It has issues. It's another huge one. Well, it has issues, like I said. It's getting dark outside. I do like the colors though. I love the colors. So this is yarn is yarn hero and what else? That's it. It's just all yarn hero. Yeah. That, it's beautiful. that sweater has issues. Well I don't ever wear it. Well, then maybe you sad. should give it away. <sighs> How many sweaters do you have? Like in general. Like more uh, than I can wear. Yeah. Do you keep them in a wardrobe or where do you keep them? There it no. goes. You got it. I did. Okay. Well, okay. <sighs> Oh, okay. okay. So, what is this? Well, that I was gonna show you that. Yeah, so show me this that. is just a little thing because I don't really have any new projects to show. But this is a hot water bottle. So you oh. cast on sort of like it's by Laura Penrose, but That's cute. you start like this is like a toe, you know, Jenny, yeah. and then oh, you go up it. from there. But I think it's too loose. But I uh, started with the color work. So I started doing the color work and then I got bored. Oh, and I was like, nah, I don't want to do it. So now I'm just doing, I'm just doing, you know, minis. I'm just double straining minis and doing different colors. And then I love it. That's it. Hot water bottle. Not exciting <laughs> at all, but not as exciting as what you've got there. Well, this is, a, this is the weekender with a crew neck. So, and I did. Is this a recent make? Yes, I just finished this. Wow, really gorgeous. Yeah, so it's a boucle with, um, I don't know what you call those little bobble things, and a mohair held together. So even though it's light, it is hot. Everything is hot. I gotta tell you what, I cannot handle being hot. The hot flashing is just bane of my existence. Well, I had hot flashes for... Did they go away? They did, but they just recently went away. I had them for like seven years every ten minutes. 
They're horrible. They're horrible I because... I wake up at night and I'm just sweating. But doesn't it also feel a little bit like anxiety when it's coming on? That's yeah. what I don't like about it. Is like your heart starts to race yes. and you get really hot and you're like, I'm panicking. But you're not really panicking. It's, it's just, just your, your body is... Body treating you like... Right. It's terrible. I hate it. I And if they're finally, it's over. But anyway... I am I, very unhappy with them. Well, I'm going to try to get on hormone replacements, but I'm going to try. You had told me that, and so I went to the gynecologist this last week, and I talked to him about that, and he was like, he goes, it's really up to you if you decide to do it or not, and I just was like, well, that's not what I was, then? I decided against it Okay. Um, for now, because he said the only reason to do it, because I talked to him about skin and aging and all that, and he said, really, that isn't what makes you age, and I was like, you're a dude. What do you know? I mean, I don't know if he knows anything or not. He did go to medical school. Well, they're not. They're I know. Not oh, anything. God, I know. Okay, so. But he said, really, it's, you know, sunscreen and don't smoke. And that's what keeps you looking young. And I was like, he said, it really won't have much difference in your skin. And I was like. But it also slows. Um, hormone replacement will also eliminate your hot flashes and they'll also make your face look younger and the dryness of certain things yeah that there's pills you can stick up there for that yeah we talked about that too i like i didn't want to do that for a while i did that too and it just it, it, it was worked a pain, wasn't it just a pain it worked and i frankly didn't want a sloppy you know what like, I didn't like, like, it actually did make it really goopy and clumpy and gross down there. It did. I didn't really like it. So now I just am good with the way things are naturally. I don't need. That's, you know, I'm so glad I asked you. Okay, so the benefit of being friends with Gina. <laughs> Is that I'll tell you like it is? Yes, and you actually give the best advice. You really do. I don't you think... Give, you I, really do. You give great advice. I feel that there's no point in putting steroids up your vagina. I think it's a that steroid? You could, it's a steroid. And it thickens the, your... You know, it thickens the walls because what happens when you get older is that our, our walls become like tissue paper. Yeah. And they tear. Oh. So the steroid thickens it. Yeah. But I don't, I don't want that. I have other fish to fry. Yes. <laughs> I want to look younger and I want my muscles to not atrophy and I want my skeleton to stay healthy and thick. Those are things I want. Well, we talked about for my particular thing was heart disease and things like that. Cause I've been on a statin drug for probably 15 years. I know that. Yeah. Um, old Katie's got bad cholesterol. But anyway, um, he said it's not going to make any difference. They thought for a while that the theory was it was going to decrease heart disease in women. What, that, HRT? Yep, but that turned out not to be the case after they'd done some studies. So basically for me, it would just be hot flash management. And I was like, That's what about skin? Not. What about skin? Well, it is going to make you look younger in the face. He said it wouldn't. He's lying. That, I know women that have done it, and I know I knew. We, you line us up. The women on HRT look younger than the ones that are not on it. All right. In the face. Well, he I mean, told we can me. work out. We well, can lift weights and work out and make our bodies look younger. But your face is really, the older your face looks is due to lack of estrogen. Like the body is, like it's slowly ebbing away. Well, he did say I could always call him back and he'd call somebody. But I wonder, like, do you need to take it because you're already taking other things and you're just, like, how important is that to you? I well, think that's the that thing. Is, that is something I have considered because I take two antidepressant medications and I take a cholesterol drug in the evening. And I feel like that that's enough. You know, that's enough. Your for skin is really good. Well. You have really beautiful skin i wore sunscreen from a young age because my mom was very anxious about my looks and she's like slathering me up in the 70s with all that nasty sunscreen but it's paid off so yeah i've never worn sunscreen a day in my life are you serious you 
you? What? Not one time. Not even on your arms? Back? I mean, maybe I've put a little bit on my shoulders when I've done things like, oh, we're going to be on the boat the all day. Beach? Or, yeah, at, we're going to sit at, at the beach. No, at the beach, no, I just stay under an umbrella. It's because you have beautiful but I, Italian skin. I don't know. I just, for some reason. Because you want to talk about beautiful skin. No, I'm shriveling, shriveling yeah. up, but, but I mean, I just, I feel like, I feel like exercise helps your skin more than putting some sunblock on it. I just, I think the sun is good. Like I have a I think thing it helps that it's your good mood. for you. I think it helps your mood. If I get out every day, I have a better day. But there is, you know, people that get skin cancer, but at the same time, there's also people that smoke their whole lives and never get lung cancer and there's people that are young that get lung cancers For so and they, yep i i don't it's, know it's i don't know i've i don't know i haven't decided i have a i can always call back you can do it anytime you're young still though okay. they say the sooner you get on that hrt the better who is they who are they the medical professionals you know when i say they i'm talking about like all the people that i know that have told me information and i've assembled it in my brain in a little Folder. That's who they is. <laughs> that sounded so stupid. Okay. It doesn't. It's it's your synthesis of information that you've acquired, acquired over a period over of time. years. You yeah. processed it, and now and you're I'm spitting it out. Spitting it out. It's, it's great. Worthless information. It is not worthless. It's not worthless. It's good stuff. But uh, yeah, because anyway. I went to dinner in LA with some of my friends, and one of them was a Hollywood actress, and she, of course, is getting like vaginal rejuvenation she's getting she has a doctor that comes into her house once a month draws her blood and analyzes it and tells her what medications and what vitamins and what supplements what and is what vaginal she, rejuvenation it's something that they're doing like over there in la putting, LA, putting, putting like some, up something there so that they nee, 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 nee. yeah or or you're sitting on something or just leave the girlfriend alone man well, she's I mean, a self-cleaning organism. Just leave her well, alone. Well, it's not like washing it out. It's like stimulating it somehow. But just leave it alone. Just leave the girlfriend alone. That's what I have to say about that. Just leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Don't that, look at it. Just, just, just cover it up. Just, just take care. Just you know. I mean, take care of it. Just do the bare basics. You know. Just gently. <laughs> Just gently <laughs> tap it or... This is devolving. Okay, forget it. <laughs> but this is normal. This is us. No, it's stupid. It's um, not stupid. I'm having a great time. Oh, good. Okay. One of the things that people asked last time about the podcast is that I didn't talk about what I was watching or what I was reading. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do that and then we're going to wrap it up because already good. we've been talking for like an hour and a half. So, okay. you. What are you reading? What are you watching? Okay, so I am reading nothing but Russian Orthodoxy church stuff. Okay. Because I've lost my mind. But it's okay. It's this a lot recently? of fun. recently? Yeah. This is within no, the you last lost month. Mind recently, I yeah, it's been gone a long it's time. Been, it's yeah. gone a long time. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I've been studying like the ancient faith. Um, I've been enjoying that a lot. So I don't know how detailed you want me to get, but. Basically, basically, it goes like this. This is the quick and the dirty of church history. Russian Orthodox. Hold on. Okay. So you have Jesus died on the cross. Then you have, like, Katie in modern America, Protestant. How did I get there? That was a good question. I have no idea. So basically, there was a church for a thousand years. One church. And then the church split into Orthodox and Catholic. And then Catholic went on for about 500 years. And then Martin Luther decided he was unhappy with the Catholics, and so he nailed his thing on the wall. And since then, we now have 25,000 Protestant denominations. 25,000. And um, never knew anything, never heard anything about the Orthodox, except occasionally I would have a Greek friend or something, and they would talk about going to the Orthodox Church, and I was like, hmm. I never heard of that. So... My therapist is Russian Orthodox, and that's where I live. Oh, so that's why you ended up going there. Yeah, oh, because, um, okay. so part of, so that's what I've been reading. It's kind of a long, convoluted thing, but it's, it's incredibly interesting learning where your faith comes from, like what the origin of it is. What kind of outfits do they wear? 
Um, I'm all into the outfits. Well, on Sunday morning, I've only been going there for about a month. It's called Saint Alaska, Saint Innocent of Alaska. It's out on Thompson Memorial Road. Um, he wears a black tunic. Okay. And he has like long a priest. gray beard. Yeah, he's oh. a priest. Long gray beard. He's married too. Long gray hair. He has it like in a like in a club. But then during church, he wears some very ornate outfits. So um, he built the church himself by hand. There's icons all around. He built the church by hand mm -hmm. himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it's a real small little fellowship, and it's really, really sweet, and it's completely different than anything I've ever learned about before. So I'm really enjoying it. But well, what do they wear? And what do the what's the congregation wear? Do oh. they wear wild stuff? Well, interestingly enough, yes. Um, so you stand for the entire service. The women on the left, the men on the right, and girls wear long skirts and a small little head covering, but don't think that we're German Baptist or Amish or any of that, it's not like that. It's it, totally normal people. It's just during that one time when you go into the sanctuary, you just wear a little, like that, do you have one of your little scarves that you give out? Not over there, but well, it's you just have a been little something. Well, you have scarves that are well, perfect I'm gonna for be, it. Yes, I'm going to be wearing that, in fact, this Sunday. I'm just going to tie it over my head, off I go. And then after church, we have a meal. Little sweet little meal. Who makes the meal? Everybody just brings a little dish. Everyone brings something. Just a little dish. Nothing. Very nothing nice. fancy. And so it's just nice. really sweet. So and as far as what have I been watching, I don't I'm having a hard time finding something to watch right now. Hmm. I've been like We're waiting for the chosen season four. <sighs> well No, you don't like that? I do like it, but I don't like Making money off Jesus. No, I oh. I want my vision of Jesus not to be dramatized. And I know that's mm. weird, you know. Well, the reason I like it is because I just do think it bring it's brought some people oh, it's, an understanding of of the Bible. It's like beautiful. some of the you, you know what I mean? Like if it's appealing enough it draws people to it and also raises questions that your family could talk about afterwards or something like that so i see it as a positive but have you been you've been watching it yeah though. we watched it all we're waiting for a season set really four. Yeah. so cool we like it good. We, we think it's a good show it i think it's i a good have show. watched i have watched a good bit of it the last one i watched was where he met the woman at the well and he told her all her sins and she took off running for the village yeah she was happy yeah she was extremely happy she became a saint, by the way. The Russian Orthodox. She achieved sainthood. The woman at the well mm -hmm. was Russian Orthodox. Well, she achieved sainthood, so oh, okay. even the Catholics would consider her a saint. Oh, okay. So, because that was way pre before the Church, the Great Schism. So she's actually a saint. Don't ask me what, what it is. I don't know enough yet to be able to tell you that. Hmm. So I guess I've been watching Dance Moms. <laughs> oh God! With my so daughter. Great. With my daughter, because my daughter just needs. My oldest daughter just needs some fluffing up. Mm. She paralegal, serious all day. So it's nice to come home and go, oh, I can't believe Yeah, something that. light and fun. Yeah, so what are you reading and what are you watching? Well, um, I finished Fourth Wing, which was the book that the whole like knitting world was like, this is the best book, and it's about dragons, and okay. it's about you know, a female protagonist and she's like the greatest writer of all time or whatever. But I hated it. Really? I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I thought it was poorly written. I thought it was boring and I thought it was completely predictable and I hated it. So Interesting. that's that. And then I have two new books. Well, I have an old book that I'm considering rereading because I haven't read it in like... Oh, yeah. I don't even know how long, but I have it sitting here. I haven't decided whether I'm going to read it again, but I'm probably going to read it just for fun. But I bought these two at Barnes and Noble, and I haven't decided which one I'm going to start. So I bought Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I read the first chapter of that one, and then yeah, I want to see this one. Nice. Okay, and then this one, which is an Obama pick um, for his book club. Uh, the Heaven and Earth Grocery Store, and 
I don't know. I haven't, I read the first chapter of this one. It's okay. I don't know. It's difficult. It is. It's difficult to keep your attention span. I mean, I'm speaking for myself. I made it sound like I was speaking for all of us. I'm having a hard time with my att attention span. Just, um, you know, finishing things, starting something and actually finishing it. That is really a challenge. I have it. I can relate a lot. Like, I don't finish books. I don't finish sweaters. Yeah, I mean, we're, it's glaringly obvious in knitters that when we don't finish something. Um, oh, but the, I didn't say what movies were, shows were yeah, watching. Yeah, you're um, waiting for Chosen for. We saw wait, um, Waco. We watched the mini series of Waco. I hated that. I mean, it was really well done, but I didn't like that they sympathized with the crazy guy. They did? They, they, they did the not make videos? him look as horrible. No, they totally, there was a total sympathy, empathy for, the, for them. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, more of a neutral show. Like, yeah, they showed both sides or whatever, but they, the fact that they were sympathetic towards that guy at all was really troubling because, you know, he was, he was, he was having babies with 12-year-olds. Well, I was, mean, he, he was, was also considering himself the sinful messiah. Right. Like, he was Jesus, right. but he was the sinful the person, bad one. not the perfect one. Yeah, Which he I was, was just like, the psycho, psycho killer, qu'est-ce que say. He was terrible. So we watched that. And then, uh, let's see, we, we just watched two movies. We watched Wonka in the theater on Christmas Day. I would give that a three out of five stars. The one with... Uh, the one with Timothy... Jeff oh. Timothy Charlemagne. Okay. I haven't... I didn't even know that was coming out. I didn't know they were doing another Wonka. We didn't need to do another Wonka. Okay? We didn't need to do it. And I didn't like the Johnny Depp... Who was it? it was Gene? What was the first Gene one? Wilder? Yeah, that Gene was Wilder. Very good, but yeah. that we didn't need any more like computer CSI stuff. I mean, it's like that's all movies are these days. And then we watched the new Hunger Games one last night, but we didn't finish it. We're Snakes and serpents. Something, and that was not terrible. Okay, I would say two or three stars out of five. <laughs> not not great, and I like the Hunger Games. Oh yes. Whole scenario, like I loved those books, but oh yes, I don't. I didn't. It was just okay. It was fine. It wasn't terrible. It was. It's the prequel to the Hunger Games series. That's what it is. So that's it. I think that's all. Um, reading, watching, doing. Well, thanks for having me back. It's been fun. You better come back. I'm planning on it. As Thumbnail often, as often as I can. <laughs> Um, let's hold up our, our stuff and do a thumbnail. Hold up that thing. What do you mean by thumbnail? Hold up a sweater right below you and let's put our heads together. Okay. What I'll do is I'll freeze that video and then I'll take okay. it as a still. Um, so Katie, thank you for being with me today and catching up with us been fun we literally could talk all day oh yeah actually we could just that like a live stream a 24-hour live stream that just we're in you our know. pajamas and we never we, we decided to knit a, a top-down worsted weight sweater to see who can actually do it in 24 hours we do like a sleepover full deal you know what i actually thought about on the way up here i was like wouldn't it be fun what if we did a live stream that she recorded and i'm like that's very dangerous that, it is, that, but because you don't know what we talked about. Like, if you think what we talked about here was kind of, <laughs> yeah, no, it was. He. Imagine what didn't make the podcast. Yeah, yeah. There's some, there'll be some editing. There's some editing for sure. But um, no, but it's really good to it, it. I cannot tell you guys how good it feels to feel good. Like you don't know how good good feels until you haven't felt that way. And before. also feeling good, it, it makes you realize sometimes that how how bad you really felt. Oh, it was because bad. of how good you feel. Like, if that makes sense. Yes, I don't know if that makes sense. it was bad. I'm, I'm I mean, sorry. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was bad. So, but I'm that's so okay. Sorry. You know what? God is good. Um, he gave me everything I needed, and I'm still here, and I'm still knitting. And you're looking good. And I feel good. 
not just I mean I feel I feel good that's it's great like kind of ridiculous so I'm like, gosh I actually feel I'm good. so glad uh, I had to start running again to feel good I had for I had missed the runner's high I needed the runner's high sadly sadly I had to do it and I yeah um so are you will you come back that's my plan and see us again that's my plan okay um, we, she and I are talking about going to Vogue Knitting Live in New York mm -hmm. in, uh, when, when, when is it? January? I think it's the last weekend in January. So we haven't decided whether we're going or not. I haven't decided if I'm going. Once right. I decide I'm going, then she can decide one way. But if she does go, then if you see us there, please come up and say hi. I would love that. We would love to see you. I'll probably be giving out mini skeins again like I did at oh, Rhinebeck. I love that. So, yeah, it's fun. It's, it's fun to give something to someone that you see that you love, you know, and give them a present. Yeah. That's fun. It is fun. Okay, is that it? Are we That's done? It. Well, okay. All right. We love you. Bye.